Welcome to another episode of the Grow Song of the Evertree series, and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I tried to click on the end of the last episode, and I, I mean, I ended it here, but I don't know uh, if I was planning on just going to bed after that, or if there was still stuff I could do. So I think I'm just going to assume I'm supposed to go to bed, because it's kind of the end of the day, so let's do that. It also mean we get some more Myora. Kid complain. Cafe and house built. Good. Fantastic. It's boulder bashing day today. Today's the day for smashing rocks. How cathartic. Do make sure you smash them for me too. We'll do book. All right. Got 200 Myora overnight. Okay. Maybe. Uh, no. I was gonna fast travel, um, but I wouldn't remember to say hi to Kazumi if I did that, so. It was a combo of things today. One food, two cuddles. Alright, now let's check on our lovely little town. We've got a beam of light we should investigate. There's a line of people to move into town. Why don't we find some accommodations? Let us claim variety. Town harmony achieved, apprentice. When you're ready, head to the town square and perform the song. If we really. Ooh. Uh, so we don't have to get all of them for it to be 100%. That is the wrong button. Uh, book is what I was looking for. You can tell it's been a uh, hot minute since I've played this game. Uh, build up town harmony in mellow meadow quarters. Ooh, we got a roof decoration. All right, uh, let us burn the song. Your hard work has paid off. You've restored harmony to this district. Ooh. Get back, Withering! Quite the sound effect. Ooh. We've got grass. Beautiful. Oh, we've got some trees growing. <laughs> ah, it's off to the side there. Okay. It's giving us a little tour, showing us the uh, airship platform. Oh, and there's the door. Our new town center. Well, you've unlocked the Plains District. Pot hasn't had a lot to say today. It's, I think been all book. <laughs> Alright, we've got some stuff to claim. Restore Ooh. some glasses and a bucket hat. Lovely. Uh, and we've got a blueprint. A diner. Thank you. Ooh, and we've got some decorations. Oh, maybe we don't have the diner yet. It's a two-parter? Okay. Let's head back. Okay, so now that we've gotten it to 100%, we actually can customize it. So, obviously for the cost of Myora. So why wouldn't it? But I could, like, switch out the trees. And it's hard to see, but on the far left, past the box I'm in, you can see it also changes the large tree. Uh, back. I don't know that I want to... Okay. <laughs> Spend anything here! <laughs> uh, but it double tapped somehow, so... I guess I will spend some money to change the color of the grass. <laughs> Dang it. Alright, so let's check on the people we have. Okay, so we could have someone for the diner, the bakery, the library, creature center... Okay. Okay. 
feel like we need more houses regardless. I wonder if I could fit two over here or if uh, we'll only be able to get one. Maybe I should put one as far over this way as possible. And then we may need to scoot this guy over so that I can fit in this other house. So yeah, we'll have a whole little um, neighborhood right here. So what else do we have? We have the inn, which we have. We have the bakery. We now have a cafe with a flower shop. We could do a general store and community gardens, but I haven't seen anyone for those. Okay. Uh, cancel. Do we need to assign someone? No. Someone's working there. Okay. So Kathleen wants to improve her um, stats for her job. These two are good. This person has a quest. Wants it to improve. Uh, he's not assigned to the library, so I guess we could do that. Oh, I need to attach a token. There we go. Uh, and then assign no one at the moment. Okay. Um, I guess we'll see if eventually he wants to work there, but at least we've prepped it for him. Uh, so somebody had a quest. I don't see them. So we're going to go ahead and leave these guys and head to our new town. It's hard to remember what parts uh, were covered with the withering and what wasn't. Oh, that's quite the helmet. The overlord. Uh, what is this? Ah! He... Right, we will leave these for now. We'll probably go up and get the tree here in a sec, so that's where I'll probably be smashing all the rocks. I assume I've read this one. Plains District. Alright. Yep, there's something we can remove. There's a lot of withering here in the middle that we'll have to remove where the camera first panned to. So we definitely haven't seen this. I yearn for the day this message is found, as there is hope that the withering may someday be banished from this world. That the wrongs of our past will no longer burden your future. We were once so proud, so grand and noble, so naive and short-sighted. Our cities reached into the sky upon tall spires, and we extracted great streams of Myora to power its appetite for our progress. But the cost was too great, and we took so much more than we gave. I am sorry, dear Evertree. I am sorry. Ooh. We've seen six journals. Thanks. Rainbow wallpaper. That was a bug. Bye, buddy! <laughs> so there's water down there. Looks like we probably need to go down and explore what's below this. It's a bridge to another area. Okay, so let's get a better feel of this area with this. Oh my god, look how tiny we are! We're right there. So we need to remove this. And this guy up above is these two and the door. There's a path to another area over here. Um, and then, ooh, I think that's the, not community gardens, but nature reserve is over in this corner. So I used to play a game called uh, Dark Cloud, and there was an aspect where you could go up and like build a town like this. What was really nice was when you exit, you teleported to where your like pointer was. Man, I wish you could do that in this game. Hello, new little area. I probably need to get this dealt with. 
Oh yeah, it's free. Let's do it. So they'll have that clean by tomorrow. Um, let's see. The first thing I like to build is the inn. So I believe, yes, we have the stuff for that. So let's just throw it over here for now. It looks like it'll fit there nicely. Um, once I can do roads, I'll probably move it closer, but for now, right there. Never mind, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> right there. <laughs> ah, we've built a new inn. We need a diner and a lodge. Okay. So, let's head up to the tree for today. That's all there is to do today, Apprentice. Bravo. Thank you. All right. Uh, didn't get too many um, boulders. So we may hop over to the other island and see if we can get some there. Maybe I'll try to tame this little guy too. He looks a little rarer than the other ones. Um, this is the only green one I... S eh. Sorry. Um... This is the only green one I saw. I like its little horns. Uh, and a play. Alright. And there's a couple more berries. Maybe I'll pick those up as I go too. I like this little tree. Excited we got some of the seeds for that. So you can put them in our town. Oh, I caught a hundred bugs. Alright, book. Head eye contacts. I think we have those in already. Oh yeah, we do. Okay. Alright, down to this guy. Seems a little more likely for there to be big ol' boulders on these finished ones. Oh, I forgot to do something on the other island. Oh, well, we can do it. The next time we're there. I also need to be better at harvesting trees. I just I feel so bad about it, but Oh, there's a glow glowing spot right here. Let's see what we get. Oh, a hat. Still not finding a whole lot of boulders. <laughs> There may be more in like a cave, maybe? And Kasumi's gonna take me away from here in a minute. I'm not done, Kazumi. Oh, here's some. Nope. Swing, please. Why don't we finish up soon so we can see what we're doing? Oh, because it's dark. Let's see if there's any boulders in here real quick. Oh, I got something cool. Heaven Drop, a legendary gemstone. Wow. Getting all kinds of good stuff in here. 
I still don't know what to do with those gemstones. But I'm glad we're getting them. Oh, these are counting as boulders. Perfect. Moon shard. Pretty. Except it looks like it's equally as unfortunate to have as it is lucky. Alright, I have finished in there. I'll probably just hang out until Kazumi takes me back. And we're too tired to continue. You head back to town. No, Kazumi's afraid I'll fall off. Yeah. We'll return to the tree in the morning, but I wanted to do something. Oh, um, go to the event, see if we can get anything there. Oh, there's a quest there. Oh yes, I think we're supposed to visit some people. All right. Oop. Um, we could get some of this. So we don't have any. Join the festival. Oh, nice. All right, we bought all of those essence. I got more um, than I kind of expected. That was nice. I guess we'll um, check in on Oleander. I don't know why I keep calling him the wrong name. Oh, hey, Nox, you dropped by. Perfect timing, actually. If you have some time, I can use a hand. I would love your input on the arrangement I'm making. Sure. Thank you so much. I've been struck trying to choose between these flowers as a base of the arrangement. I'm thinking either white flowers or pink flowers. What do you think? White? That's an interesting choice of flowers. I'm not sure you're aware, but the plants have their own language. Every plant and every herb symbolizes emotions. The white flower you picked means hope. It really seems like the flowers know you well. Over here I was looking at either purple or blue flowers as accents. Blue? Hmm. That blue flower you picked means in my heart. Were you thinking of anyone in particular when you picked that flower? I mean, it's a great choice. I think it'll look great in the arrangement. I just did it because it's my favorite color. <laughs> now that we've gathered up some flowers, we need to put them together. This is my workspace for putting the arrangements together. Now the flowers I presented are really important too. The type of vase, ribbon, everything. All of it helps to create a story that one person wants to tell another. Let's start creating this person's story. Oh! It's the person who ordered this arrangement. Nax, can you let them know I'll be done shortly? Yeah, I can do that. I'm so glad they liked the arrangement. Also, I have something for you. If you have a bit more time, something for me. Oh, pretty. I wanted to give you these flowers. I wanted to give these flowers to you. To express my own story as a thank you. These flowers mean tenderness and affection. Um, gosh, anyway. <laughs> I hope you like them, Nox. I feel like you're trying to tell me something. Thank you for your help today. I'm glad I got to learn more about you. Ooh, we can buy stuff here. I always forget that. Okay. Let's go on out. Ah, yes. We should probably check with Book. Book, there we go. <laughs> Join the festivals. Good old red wallpaper. Uh, create a strange seed. Perfect world. Good night's sleep. Dang. Got so many things we can still work on. Whose house is this? I guess we can see what's in here. See, this is why I don't like assigning two people to these houses. <laughs> Clearly not enough space. Say there, friend. Would you be able to bring me a happy little flourishing grub? Preferably something that would look good in a top hat and, sp and spats? Oh, that's fantastic. Here you go. What a delightful little fellow. Yes, he's going to look quite dapper once he's clad in elegant evening wear. Insects deserve a f to wear fancy clothes too, you know. 
And we got the hat again. Okay. Yeah, you want improved for your job. I can't really help you there. Ooh. Everything looks so nice at night. Like all of the glowing things. So I might sign off here. We uh, opened up a whole new town area, which I'm very excited to get to work on. Uh, it'll also mean we'll start getting even more Mayora each night, which will really help uh, expand from now on. We worked on our trees. We took part in a festival. We saw Oleander. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.